Welcome to Fairfield Junior Senior High School, a place of learning and advancement in life skills. Let's take a look into Fairfield and what a typical day could look like for you. Not a lot is different when it comes to getting on and off the bus. Once the bus is parked and the driver says it's okay to exit, you may go ahead and get off the bus. One of the first things you'll notice different about junior high is that there are a lot more people. It can be crowded when exiting the bus and entering the school with bigger and older kids. The bigger kids may seem a little scary at first, but I assure you they're harmless and you'll be used to it in no time. Walking into school your first day, this is what you'll see. Let's take a step back into the office areas. It's possible that you will be called down to different offices on any given day. First off, when walking in, you will see the main office. Often, when called to this office, it is to pick up items someone may have dropped off for you. Next is the attendance office. Here you will sign in or out when coming late or leaving early for appointments. Now heading back out to the main hallway, we will come up to the bookstore. At the bookstore, you can get almost all your school essentials for projects and other homework, such as pencils, pens, erasers, paper, poster board, and various other items. Speeding up again down the hallway, we'll come up to the guidance area. If you ever need to meet with your counselor, you can come here to the front desk to schedule an appointment. Just to the left down this hallway is where the counselor's offices are located. Back out to the hall again and up to a central area where many of the major halls meet. Before exploring the halls further, we'll take a quick look at the commons area. The commons is a place open before and after school to all students and also open during school for numerous different classes. There's comfortable seating throughout the area. Along one side of the commons, there are booths set up where groups can work on projects. Scanning the main hall, we will come to the senior hallway. To the left is the quickest way to the main gym. The gym is where you'll have your PE class. In PE, you will do things such as basketball, kickball, dodgeball, and various other sports. After your first few classes, you will head to lunch. The lunch rush can be heavy sometimes. So make sure to just be patient and not push other people. Once in the cafeteria, there are three different lines to choose from. The first line is the Falcon Cafe. The Falcon Cafe is the main lunch line. Items posted on the lunch calendar is what will be served in this line. Next is the Falcon Pit Stop. This line includes a salad bar as well as sandwich options. The last line is the Falcon Munch and Crutch line, also known as the a la carte line. This line, you can find different types of snack items. Once you have your lunch and you're ready to eat, all you have to do is take your food to the cashier and scan your ID or tap in your student ID code. Lunch.
Lunch periods are 30 minutes long, so you have plenty of time to eat your food and talk with your friends. Once you're done with your lunch, take up all your trash and your leftover food and then throw your silverware in the silverware chute and leave your tray on the counter. Once you're finished with lunch, make sure your table is completely clean and the chairs are pushed in before you leave. Now let's take a look at the Fairfield campus and our outdoor sports facilities. Also, some PE activities will be held outside on these fields on nicer days. Let's head back inside where you'll have a few more classes to finish out your day. In many classes, technology is a major part of the learning experience. Because of this, you'll use computers throughout the day. Between most classes, you'll have to stop back at your locker. Each student has their own locker with a unique locker combination. Now from the main hallway, we will head to the library. You can enter the library from either side, but the library is not supposed to be used as a hallway to get from one side to the other. We have a huge book selection at Fairfield that is constantly being updated with new and better books. Throughout the library there is comfortable seating where teachers will often bring their classes down for reading or studying. Using your agenda. Each student will receive their own agenda, unique to that year. The agenda is filled with rules, restrictions, guidelines, and other helpful information. Located near the front of every agenda are your passes. Each quarter of the year you receive 18 passes which you can use to go to the restroom or retrieve items that you may need or have forgotten. Also in your agenda is a planner which can be used to stay organized and on schedule. In addition, the planner shows what athletic events are happening throughout the week. Just a thought, on the front or back cover of your agenda is a great place to keep your schedule throughout the year so you don't get mixed up with where you're going. Finishing the school day. And with that, your school day is finished. When your bell rings and it's time to go, head to your locker and collect what you need before leaving. That is what a typical day could look like for you in the coming years. Junior high isn't what it is made out to be. It may take some getting used to, but before long, it will feel normal and the days will begin flying by. Junior high doesn't last long, so enjoy each day and live it to its full potential. School's a great place, it really is. You just have to let it be.